It's the grandson of right thought. So y'all are all living in a world of illusion. But does that mean that things are not what they are? Just because they're veiled, does that mean that it's not what it is? See, all of you are who you are. But it's like looking in a glass, looking in a mirror that's foggy, where you can't entirely see what you're looking at. You can see an outline of a silhouette of a form, but you can't make out exactly what it is in its sharpness and its detail. But one day, when truth comes, you'll be able to see yourself exactly as you are. And you will see everything else exactly as it is. See, because everything around you has to, sh has to shift in vibration to where you are. So if you're in truth, then those things around you will be displayed for their truth, regardless if they're hiding or not. But there will be a time when all things will be exposed for what they are and everybody will see the truth. There will be no more lies to hide it, no more illusions to hide it. So like I've said, you've all been living in a world of illusion. Well, if there's truth coming on the earth, then that means that someone has entered into their truth, which has changed the frequency of the vibration of this illusion that you live in. There is someone on the earth walking in his truth. That's what that means. And that's why it's being displayed outwardly for the world to see. You understand that? Or else it couldn't be so. There would be a restrainer hiding it. There would be a restrainer to keep the, the man of sin hidden in this illusional world, you see. But now that the man of sin is being revealed, it's because someone on earth is walking in their truth. There is a revealer. There is a healing healer walking on the earth. Do you see? Who is walking in truth, or as we say, anointing or Christ. You understand? See, the thing about Christ that people don't understand is that he was walking in truth. Remember, what is truth? You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. They said he was the word. The word was with God. The word, come on, guys. Stop denying the spirit of the word. If you resist the spirit, then you can't be forgiven. See, if you blaspheme the spirit and say the spirit is not telling you the truth. Which is what a lot of you have been doing. So you can't be forgiven for that. That's why you have to die and be reborn in truth. So there has to be one on the earth who's walking in his truth of who he is. Seeing himself clearly when he looks in the mirror. When he looks in the face of Christ. He sees himself. Do y'all understand what I just said to you? And see, the, and how we know this is the case is because the earth is changing. You see? The veil that's been covering it all since the beginning has been removed. Who am I? The question that you've all been asking. Why am I targeted? What am I targeted for? Why this great tribulation I find myself in? This purifying fire. It is written. My son, if you come to serve the Most High, the Most High, prepare your heart for tribulation. But how many of you have read that? And that's why you're confused and don't understand why you suffer the things you suffer. But see, had you have read that and let that spirit of the word fill you, then you'd understand why it was happening and then you'd have peace. You would rejoice in it. Knowing why you were elected, knowing why you were going through this fire, not wondering why, praying to God, asking why, letting his word reveal it to you. 
See, all things are going to pass on this earth, in this heaven. All this is going to pass away, but his word will not pass away. So for all of you talking about what his word has been tampered in, those who diligently seek him shall find him. And he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So if you're seeking the most high, then there is no excuse for you. Because if you turn your face to him, he'll turn his face to you. And then you'll be able to find truth. And then you'll be set free from the illusion. Which is the world you live in. It's an illusion. It's not real. It's a, it's a made up identity. Everybody's living in a made up identity. And not truth. Not what Abba has, has laid at his will for you. That's not what you've been living in. And that's why you found suffering and not peace. That's why you have found sadness and not joy. You see, that's why you have found lack and not abundance. Because you're walking in the illusion, the world, which is outward. And not the inward world, the inward world. But what did the master teach us? He said, the kingdom of heaven is within you. <laughs> within you inside of you you see and later we read that if Christ be in you unless you fail to meet the test see and fall for the illusion still looking for comforts when you watch the movie the, the movie The Matrix okay Remember the one, the Judas? What, he was sitting at a restaurant, eating a steak, talking about how he knew it wasn't real. But he still wanted it. See? The illusion. He still wanted the illusion. He didn't want the real because he didn't have enough faith. So... A lot of you who are living in the illusional world of Christianity, um, uh, Muslims, um, Buddhists, uh, whatever religion you want to call it, then you have found yourself in an illusion or in idolatry outside of the truth, see? So you are caught in a world of unrighteousness or wrong thinking. It's that simple. Unrighteousness means wrong thinking. And so you targeted individuals, you true targeted individuals. If you read the word, then you would know why you're targeted. And you would also know how to be a conqueror. Because we are more than conquerors. Because we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power. The word God, al Khayyam or El, means power. See, a lot of people are always caught up on these words. Hey, you're saying Yah, so you're serving this God. And you're, you're saying uh, Jehovah, so you're serving this God, and you're saying God, and so you're serving this God, and you're saying this, and you're saying this, you're saying. What's the most high? Love is. Because love conquers all. So that's a checkmate move, you see? Because if, in, if nothing can conquer love, then, the, then love is the most high. Simple. So you can call him whatever word you want to call him by. But we who know the truth know that it's love. Because love is invisible. You can't see it. And it says that God is invisible. Power is invisible. What's the highest power there is then? See how we're doing this? It's love. So we who, who serve the most high, Abba, we serve love. We worship love. 
We give praises to love. We pray in the name of love. We do everything that we do in the name of love. You see? With the intention of love. That's what we do. That's these words that are coming out of this mouth. It's love. See, because if I didn't love you, then I wouldn't tell you the truth. If I didn't love you, then I wouldn't have given of myself to do what I'm doing today. It's love that does it. It's love that, um, that gives you the unction to do the things that you need to do. Even if people are telling you it's wicked, it's wrong. Even if they're coming against you. Even if they're bashing you. Even if they're throwing stones at you. Even if they'll kill you. Even, it doesn't matter. Even if you lose it all. You become a living sacrifice daily. You die to self every day. Being crucified in truth every day. You see, because you have to give up the illusion to live in truth every day. You have to give up the false life every day. The false man has to die every day so that the man in Christ can live. The man in truth can live. The man in love can live. And that's all that this is for all of you who are still confused, doing rudiments, doing vain repetition, doing religious acts, doing rituals, looking for precious stones, looking for sun gazing, looking for semen retention, looking for the right diet, looking for the right guru, looking for the right land to live in, looking for the right people to listen to, listen to the right books to read. It's loving each other. It's loving God first with all your heart, your mind, and your soul because he is who created you. Can you deny it? Before you knew anything, you were here. Were you not? This breath, which is Abba Yah, the breath, the holy breath that you all take in vain each and every day when you speak lies, when you speak deceits, when you speak trickery, when you speak hatred, when you speak malice, when you speak backbiting, when you speak slander, when you speak down to your brother, when you speak down to your sister, when you don't build them up in truth and love, when you don't use the gift that he gave us, which is this tongue in your mouth to speak life or to speak death with it. And he gave you the choice. Which one you, will you choose today, life or death? Truth or lies? Will you go back to the world to fit in with the world, to have that stake? And sell out your friends? Or will you have no greater love than there is that a man give up his life for his friends? So those who are living in truth have given up their lives, their goals and ambitions in the world. Abba Yah says they were too good for this world. Those who had faith that were pleasing to me. Like Abraham who dwelt in a tent. He dwelt in a tent. He knew he was a sojourner on the earth, passing through, just visiting for a time. Because he knew he had a better country waiting for him. And see, we that live in the truth, we don't sweat what's going on here. We don't sweat that we live in an abando. Some of us are homeless. Some of us are destitute and have nothing. Have lost it all. For the sake of Christ. Truth. I want the truth. I don't want any lies. I don't want any deceptions. I don't want any trickery in my life. I don't want any deceit. I want the truth Abba. Reveal your truth to me. Who am I? Save me from this. Those who didn't do that didn't find the truth. The truth was not revealed to them. They didn't ask for it. But he says, ask and you shall receive. But a lot of you are too afraid to ask. 
You're too afraid to ask for Abba Yah's judgment. You're too afraid to ask for Abba Yah's justice. And you know why? It's obvious why, is it not? Because you're still living in lies. You're still afraid to be exposed. You're still afraid to be outed on your bullshit. You see, it's very simple. But when you're living in truth, then you can call for Abba Yah's judgment to reign down on this earth. Can't you? So all of you who say you're sick and tired of how the world is going or this illusion and you want to be set free, ask Abba for it. Cry unto him for his justice, for his truth. All of you who say you're waiting for Christ, Christ is the truth. So ask for the truth. And the truth is going to set you all free. So ask for it today and stop living in the illusion. Siloam Yisraelah.